Hey, what up, YouTube? D4G here, banging out another video. Man, look, today I've been waiting on doing this video for a little while now. Got a package that finally came in the mail. Y'all know what this means right here. Hey, we got a fragrance haul unboxing. Stay tuned, man. Today we do have a fragrance haul unboxing. This is a package that I ordered from fragrancebuy.ca. One of the houses that I'm that's really sparked my interest and that I want to get into a little bit more is Armand. So I did a fragrance haul of Armand. I plan on doing one for Latafa, Al Hermon, and a few other like Middle Eastern, like Asia region type fragrances. One, I like the, I like the, damn. One, I like the presentation on them. For one, I love the presentation. Two, they all have great quality fragrance for the most part. Most of their fragrances are great quality, not super synthetic. You can find some twists. You can find some clones. You can find fragrances that they made on their own. So I got six of them here, or five of them, I think. I don't know if we gotta say I gotta open it up. I really forgot. And, oh my gosh, man, I hate that stuff, man. It always get messy every time. So it looks like they just got them packaged up in here. So I'ma just grab them out. They got them all packaged in here pretty snug. So I'ma just grab them out one at a time. And the first one that I grabbed is Armaf El Cilio. Armoth El Cilio. I'm pretty sure I haven't said that wrong. But I'm going to try to get through these as fast as possible because, like I said, I do got a lot. Um, and I don't want to sit here and take up none of y'all time. Both of our time is precious. But we can't sit here wasting it. You know what I mean? So, but yes. So, so you see the box. Very, very nice. Nothing to brag home about. Bottle though. Hey, what if this don't look that bad? I like it, man. I like it. El Cilio. <laughs> I like it. Now, this cap is trash. Luckily, I don't spray the cap. The cap is trash. It's just plastic. No weight to it. Nothing like that at all. Hold on. Gotta get my strips. Because you know your boy needs some testy strip. Got some strips out. We got a couple of fragrances to go over. Let's see. Let's see what this one hitting on. Brand new. Atomizer isn't bad. It's almost like out of place in a way. You can see like it moving and stuff. So it's not bad. They're not a bad atomizer. Let's see what this fragrance is. No. Oh! oh. <laughs> and we just now in the box, man. Hold on. We just now in the box, man. I like this one. I like this a lot. This is real good. This is real good. It's giving me something. It's reminding me of something. All right. So I had to pull up the notes on this one. Now this is a citrus aromatic, okay. You got melon, apple, bergamot, lemon up top. In the mid, you have lavender, violet, and cypress. In the base, you have vanilla, musk, amber, and cedar. Now I can say this up front. The apple and the bergamot are the two things that you smell initially upon spraying. The lavender is in there, you can smell it, but it's not like super strong. It's nothing that's just the focal point of the fragrance, but it is pleasant. It's all mixing together very pleasant. Yeah, man. I'm rocking with this, man. I'm rocking with this. It's almost reminding me of like Invictus Aqua in a way. And I think that might be where I'm getting some of the similarities at because it's giving me, which one is it? Abercrombie and Fitch, First Instinct Blue Vibes as well. If I had to choose between First Instinct Blue and this one, I'm going with Cilio. This one here smells beautiful. I'm loving the way that smells. My God. Well, hold on. That's the first fragrance too. Hey, like I said, first one is El Cilio by our mouth. We got a few more to go over, so let's move that to the side. Let's see what this next one is. Now, the second one that I pulled out is now this one is definitely a clone. This one is supposed to be a clone from Pegasus, of, of Pegasus from Parfums de Marley. I'm, I messed that up. But Pegasus clone from Parfums de Marley. And we're talking about Armoth Craze. Craze by Armoth. Craze for men. The older Parfum concentration. Gotta get the EDP. Don't get the EDT of this one. Oh, it slides. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Wow, okay, that's not bad right now. I rocks with that. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it, but I... damn, is the belt strapping that thing here? Hold on, bro. Like the whole other part of the box is coming off too, man. Maybe I should have did this before. I opened. Maybe I should have. I'm gonna have to pull this by the strap. Boy, I tell you right now. I don't... After doing all that, I don't know if I'm keeping this box. I'm... I ain't trying to do this every time I get ready to reach for this. But, presentation right there, got the 
Armag leather strap all the way around. Not bad. And you can take the strap off if you want. I'm gonna keep mine on. It's not that bad of a look to me. Now I will say this: I'm smelling that little that little spray. I'm smelling that uh, the atomizer. That shit smells synthetic. It smells synthetic, but we're gonna give it a spray and see what it does. Now this one, I was looking on spending some time with it during the uh, fall winter time because I heard it's like an amber fougere type fragrance. So, you know, it's gonna be good during that cold weather. Not bad atomizer, not a bad atomizer, much better than the one in El Cilio, much better than El Cilio. Ooh. <laughs> Boy, I tell you right now, hold on, man. Hold on, dog. Lavender, jasmine, sage, vanilla, amber, some sandalwood in there. Sweet, not overly sweet. It's almost like intoxicating in a way, but in a good way. In a good way. It's very intoxicating. It's very enticing. This will be a great date night fragrance. Like, oh, yeah, man. No, the one thing that I am questioning off of sprays on this one is performance. I haven't worn it yet, so I don't know how it will perform. But if I can at least get six, seven hours out of this, that'll be good. Because I truly do see myself using this more so in those date night situations. This is pleasant. And it's not a synthetic. Like I said, you, I smelled the cap. I was thinking it was going to be synthetic, but it's not synthetic at all. This is actually a pretty pleasant fragrance. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like that one a lot, man. I like that one a lot. Armov Craze. That was that one. That one. That one. That one pretty damn good. Uh, I'm going to say that. That, that. Hey, legit, that one was pretty good. All right, the next one. Now. This one I had to get my hands on. This one, you know what? I'll say this one for last. Cause I did get two fragrances in this package that that's not our mouth. Now I am going to try to do our mouth only or um, El Harman only fragrance hauls, Latafa fragrance hauls. I'm gonna try to do that, but bro, I had I had to hop on this one now. I had to hop on this one. The one we're going to be going over now is all you need is love by Armand. Now this one is supposed to be uh, Giorgio Armani Absolute. It's supposed to be like a twist, uh, like Armand's twist of that. Now this might be the presentation of the whole of what I have so far. I still got one more, three more to go over, but this one is not bad. I really like this presentation. And then you got like the double ring there. Like I, I like it. I like the presentation. Let's see what this juice is sitting on because I can't smell nothing through the atomizer. Let's just see. Let's just see. Now, they do have two of these. They have all you need is love, and then they have all you need is something else. Like, I don't know nothing about it. Damn, hold on, cap ain't going on though. Why the cap ain't going on? Oh, all right, so don't try to close all the way. I guess you can't, okay. Okay, I smell a little bit of it. It still has like a um, synthetic opening somewhat. Now this one has a more synthetic opening than the other two, but this is a pleasant fragrance, man. This is. All, it almost smells unisex in a way, still masculine, but it has unisex qualities in it. I can see how a woman can pull that off because they do have a version like this for women as well. So I do have, I do see how this can be a unisex fragrance. Up top in the opening, it almost has like an Invictus style opening, which is kind of throwing me off because, well, not really because Absolute does have like that Invictus twist on it, but almost like a warmer version. So you still have the Giorgio Armani uh, Absolute twist to it with some Invictus in there as well. But it's warm. It's not like a Invictus where when you spray it, you know you're happy with that thing for the spring, summertime, you know it's gonna be in some heat. This one right here is, honest, it's almost the way you, you wanna wear it during any year, any time. But then again, like, I don't know. Again, cause it, it almost has like a warm mixture to it. So it's kind of hard to put this in an exact category, like, or a time of season. I can tell you right now, spring and summer, yes. But as far as fall and winter, fall, yeah, because I'm in Texas for wintertime, that's the only thing that's just throwing me off now. This right here, I would love to wear this on a date, on an occasion. It's just a pleasant fragrance, man. And if you really like that Invictus DNA, you're going to love this. All you need is love. You're going to love this by mom. Now, some of the notes that you're going to have in this is you're going to have some C notes, lemon, mandarin orange up top. In the mid, you're going to have some orange blossom, lavender, sage, and geranium. And then in the base, you're gonna have taco bean, vetiver, patchouli, vanilla, and cedar. And upon smelling this, I'm telling you right now that sea notes and the mandarin orange stand out heavy. The lavender and sage is in there too, with the lavender to be in a more prominent note than the sage. It all comes together nicely. Now, I'm liking this, man. I'm liking this one a lot, boy. These are three for three right now. These are some sexy ass fragrances. Like they all smell good like that. 
El Celio. That one I can see myself wearing that spring summer. Um, craze. I can see that fall winter. All you need is love. Green summer fall. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna green like the winter time yet. But as far as the spring summer and fall, yeah, bro, this shit is pleasant, dog. This shit is pleasant. And another thing y'all need to know is, man, I got all these bottles. Not a single one of them was over thirty bucks. Not a single one of them was over thirty bucks. And they all smell amazing like i'm loving the smell of all of them so far got one more our mouth we're gonna go over and then i got two other ones that i added into it so the one that we're gonna go over as well with the armand fragrance haul is gonna be armand armand venture now i heard some things about this one some good things i'm gonna lie to you bam i need that this is a lot bigger than I was expecting it to be. Like, I wasn't expecting it to be this big. Like, it's a big-ass box. Oh, it's not snugged in the place real good, at least. I ain't got to worry about nothing popping off. Now, I think this is supposed to be their version of, like, a Sauvage twist. I don't know if it's a Sauvage twist or if it's an actual clone. I know that the All You Need Is Love, that's a twist. Craze was a clone. El Cilio, that was a twist as well. So, one of the things that I like about our mop is that they tend to put, like, twists on their fragrances. Like some of them, you can, they have one that's like a, a mixture of silver mountain water and or green orange tweed and um, a vintage. Beautiful fragrance. I love that one a lot. I actually had that one in my collection. Yeah, Le Parfait. Got that one in the collection. I love it. It's a man, good scent. Good mixture of the two without that harsh chemical opening. Man, it's, it's beautiful. That's all I'm going to say. It's good. Get it if you can. Get it if you can. You won't be upset. Back to this Ventana. This might be the best or one of the best Sauvage EDT clones out there. Not the best, but one of the best. This one has a harsh opening. It has a synthetic opening. So you do have to be aware of that when you are getting it. But once you get past that, it's really Sauvage DNA to all the way through. Bruh, this shit is good, dog. Yeah, man. Four for four, dog. I'm telling you, man, this shit good too, fam. I'm gonna keep it a bean with you. Yeah, man, that's good, man. That's good. That's good. Let me see something. We got so we got four fragrances from our mom. The first one, El Cilio, still beautiful, still beautiful. It almost smells like it's coming out with like a little bit more of a citrus. The citrus is coming out of it, but still aquatic. You can tell it's a it's a spring summer scent. You can tell that it's like a blue mixture fragrance. Real good. I'm liking El Cilio a lot. The next one is Armov Craze. It's starting to go to a woody nature. It's starting to get a little bit woody in the base. Still got that sweetness up top. Not as much. But it's still there somewhat to gel with the woody nose. Very nice. I like this one. This was real good too. That one, that'd be good. That shit smell just like Pegasus. The third one was All You Need Is Love. Same people by our mouth. Giorgio Armani twist, absolute twist. Bro, I ain't gonna lie to you. This one might be the best side of the bun. This shit right here is so good, dog. So good. This shit doing something different. And I'm liking what it's doing. I'm liking the difference that it's doing. And then the third one. Or the fourth one, the Intana. Oh, yes. Yeah, Savage DNA all the way through. Just not as smooth. It's Savage, but not as smooth. And again, this is one that was another one. I think this was like less than 30 bucks. Like 24, 25 around that price range. So if you're looking to get that Savage DNA, but without paying that Savage EDT price, you can go with El Cilio, man. This right here, I mean not El Cilio, you can go with Vitana. And this right here will be great. If you want something to fix your... Your fix for um, Invictus Aqua by Paco Rabanne. You can go with El Cilio. That right there, B.O.B. friendly. That shit gonna get you right and smell just like it. If you want a clone of Pegasus, Armov Craze. This shit is good. Sweet, seductive, date night friendly. Man, I'm, I'm enjoying that one a lot. And then, like I said, my favorite one of the bunch probably, just off of initial sprays. All you need is love, fam. This right here, bro, this... This is so beautiful, dog. This is such a great fragrance. This is such a great fragrance. And that was one that I discovered late. That shit, that shit's stupid. Now, the two honorable mentions that came with this category of uh, are my fragrance all. I have two of them in here. First one that I'm gonna bring to y'all is Off Non 9 p.m. And this is gonna be another uh, fragrance house that I plan on looking into. The next one will be Latafa. Then I plan on looking into Al Hermine. Then after that, I want to look into um, Off Non. That's going to be the next one that I look into next. So this one's going to get it started. But 9 p.m. as you see the bottle, handle that. Now this one is supposed to be a clone of John Paul JPG LaMail. LaMail, now I don't, let's see, good atomizer. 
Real good ass mods. Get some good sprays up in that thing. Now this one's harsher in the opening. A little bit more of the synthetic opening in there. And as I continue to smell this one, apple, lavender, bergamot. Let's get the note breakdown real quick. Let's see what these notes hitting on. So right now I'm reading that this is an amber vanilla fragrance. And this has apple, cinnamon, wild lavender, and bergamot up top. Orange blossom and lily of the valley in the mid. And in the base you got vanilla, tonka bean, amber, and patchouli. Now, with me knowing all that, I'm sticking to what I said with the apple and the lavender. I'm sticking to those two. Now, you can smell the vanilla, how the vanilla is gonna be coming out, but it's still like that. Still has more of the fruity opening because again, you do have bergamot, you also have lavender, and you got apple up top. So you still wanna get that fruitiness in there. Then you got orange blossom in the mid too, so you gotta take that into consideration. This is a good clone of Ultra Male. I like this. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. This one, I would take over Ultra Male just so I can save on the price. Like, you don't gotta have... JP, she got some fragrances. Don't get it. Don't get me wrong. I love Lamel and Navy. Uh, but I don't think that JPG requires the price that it has for its fragrance. Whereas, you can just get something like a clone, less than 30 bucks, compared to going to buy some JPG. Unless you really want that bottle. Most of those are like 100 bucks. 30 bucks right here. And you get close. You damn sure gonna get close to it. I'm liking this one a lot too. This is real good. As it's drying down and starting to do its thing, you can smell the vanilla before it's coming out. Like I said, you already smell it somewhat in the open, but it's coming out even more. That amber, yeah, man, I'm rocking with that one too. I'm rocking with that one too. Lord have mercy. Hey, we got one more left. Let me see if they threw me a sample or something. Damn, you got six fragrances that don't even give you a sample? No samples or nothing? I know I'm good for a sample, nah, man. Come on, fragrance by CA. All right, man, whatever. Hey, so the last one we're gonna go over, this is one that I've been looking to get to replace my fit for the OG one. And what we're talking about today is the Tor Miwar by Hermione. Eee! That box ugly as hell. This bottle kind of ugly too, I ain't gonna lie to you. But luckily, I don't care about none of that. I just care about what's inside. So let's see what we got. This is supposed to be a clone. This is supposed to be a clone from Layton. So if y'all know about Perfumes and Marley, they have uh, Layton and they also have Layton Exclusive. This one is supposed to be a clone of Layton regular one. Now I've smelled that one. That is a niche fragrance. That shit is so good. <laughs> that shit is so good, bro. I remember the first time I went to Macy's and I smelt it. Oh, it was north and i wanted to smell it lady showed me the the 4.2 ounce bottle that's the big bottle i was like hey I was like, let me smell that one. i smelled almost that whole line but when i smell late i need a late right then and there she told me how much that shit cost fresh it was 450 i said what she said 450 i said what she said 450 i said damn oh you taxing out here I'm gonna say this right now. This is different. This is different. I was not expecting to smell like this. I don't remember Layton smelling like this. It's not bad. I like it, but it doesn't smell like Layton. At least not from what I remember. Maybe I need to get my note. Maybe that's just the Lord telling me just go ahead and purchase that thing, young man. But it's not bad, man. Let me, let me read some of the notes real to y'all real quick. Now, when this one is saying it is an amber spicy fragrance, and I will talk, you're gonna have some almond, jasmine, cypress. In the mid, you're gonna have cedar, ap uh, amber, and holotrope. Holotrope? Holotrope? And then in the base, you got vanilla, musk, and sandalwood. Man, I ain't gonna lie to you. This one's kind of throwing me back because I don't remember Layton smelling like this. Oh no, that 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 one got me for a little doozy. There. I'm gonna have to get out. I'm gonna have to get us a little sample, a little wares, and see how I like it. But what I got right now, winner winner chicken fucking dinner. The only one that might be questionable is the one that I was looking forward to the most out of this whole box, and that's her mind, the Tour de War. Other than that. The winner of the ba of the batch bundle. All you need is love. Bro, this shit right here is so good, man. I'm going to definitely be giving this some wares in the upcoming days and weeks. And I'll do a review and let y'all know what I think about it. But that one definitely has the cake. This is a surprise of the whole bunch. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I'm, yeah, I might have to get a new show, dog. My shit need to come on in. But hey, anyway, that's going to be the video right there. I hope y'all did enjoy it. Like I said, I know this video ended up dragging out a little bit longer. But brought y'all six fragrances, Fragrance Hall, Armal, Canada by Fragrance by CA. I am gonna be doing a Latafa one next. So if y'all have any suggestions on any Latafa fragrances to possibly check out that I don't already have, that you think that I wouldn't already have in the collection, let me know. I'll probably be doing around the same number. We're gonna see what they got. And then maybe we might do a fragrance haul versus and see which one is better. I don't know. I'm just brainstorming off the top. But with all that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed the I hope y'all enjoyed the content for today. And you already know what it is, man. Over here on this side of YouTube, we talk about FFL, football fragrance lifestyle. So if that's something that you're interested in, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification so that you can always be updated anytime we drop this content. But with all that being said, 
D4G truly blessed. That's the for greatness. Mouth.